all to learn. Players will get lines. And I think it might have one too many. Oh no, gone right. Um let's just call this. Yeah, it's just keep the users. Yeah. Okay, so once you've done that you can see they've all got the uh oops. Once you've done that you can see they've all got a uh, lined clout of them and it's getting the editor view is getting quite choppy. I think that's because we've got so much of a ha so much of a low path. Wait, let's just see the angles for all of them. No, no, the angles are fine. Yeah, don't know. Subdivision. Yeah, it's it's just getting a bit laggy. That's all. Um. Okay, so once you've once you've done that. Try see if it works if you turn on the not the outline. Um, see if it works if you turn on these, and as you can see, it's fucked up. There's I know I'm probably doing the wrong way of it, and I know I normally do the right way. Don't know why it's going weird. Hmm. Uh, I'll pause the video and come back when I fixed it and tell you what to do. Uh, yeah, I figured what I'd done wrong. I had hierarchy, uh, hierarchy tick. So you want to select all the bull nerves and uncheck hierarchy and then tick them all back. You should have lines in, yeah, like that. But now, what we're going to do, so if you look on that spine there. Uh, if you get the blank spine, this is this is how they animated it. Let's just get the axis and move it down. Get, uh, move down the axis. Just click on the two arrows icon underneath the move icon and just drag it down. And it shouldn't affect um, where it's going and stuff. Okay, so once you've done that, go back and move tool. And if you look on that one still. When you move the uh, was it the blank spine, it cuts out a shape of it. So you see the bottom one there. It's going up and down, and that's how they've done it. They've done it so it goes dead fast or like really slow, like this. I've probably done like. Uh, a bit more than I should have, like in a small space, but it's not exactly like theirs. As you can see, theirs have like two and everything, and I think they've got some going that way as well, which is pretty cool, but confusing nevertheless. So, yeah, this is my own take on it. It's not going to be perfect, and it won't be as near as good as theirs because they're professional and I'm a 14 year old kid. So, once you've done this, just enable everything that you should have, and you look back in here. Take that. And you look back in the position of like plain view of what it was before. It's like it looks quite cool. Uh, I think I've got extruded shape on it for some reason. Oh wait, no, that's just the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're gonna be coloring them, coloring them in, so you're able to tell them apart. But this is what it basically looks like. Let's just render. I've got ambient occlusion on. That's why it's not as fast, because it will do it in like one second. But that's it's just calculating all the shadows and everything. It's not because my computer shit. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, but as we're gonna, as you can see here, 
they're all <coughs> sorry they're all like they're all like matching up and they're all in line just to uh, move them around a bit yeah actually this is a good time to save so control control s or command s moving on mac because mac's bad no hey it's just a matter of opinion um okay so what we could do is just get all the blank spines no we have to move the path from all the blank spines right just hide that for a sec uh, to hide it just control click or command click on those like is it 10 you know those like little dots there you can do it on anything as well let's bring it back just control click on it again um okay once you've done that uh open up all the ball nerves and stuff um all of them apart from the one that we originally moved the axis on so i think we moved the axis on 14 did we yeah Right, um, what you want to do, click on all the blank spines, uh, that, apart from the one we've done, so, uh, 12 and stuff, 8 and 13, so, to so click on all of them, don't press shift, because it'll highlight all the ones in between, you want to press control, so, control, click, 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 and so on, or command. And just scroll up. Click, click, click. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so all of them are selected. Let's just zoom out. Where's the the yeah, so It's quite high up. Um yeah, so go in the access tool again. Move it down to about there, get back in the move tool. Um, so all the axes are there now. So you just click on this one, you'll be able to move it like that. And as you can see, you've got like a tiny bit of like warping going on. You probably can't notice it that much, but. You want to keep everything like central so you don't really see the lines. So, all ones like that, you don't really want to see them. So, all like just offset them all like different um, uh, different positions and stuff. So, that one there. That one. Yeah, as again, as again, this is uh, incredibly tedious um, thing, but it has to be done. But if we don't do it, it'll look bad, and we don't really want stuff to be the exact same. Okay, so. Um, you get this one. Hmm. Where's this one? Oh, it's there. Right. Uh, lock that one there. I think we're getting near the bottom. Yeah. Where's this one? What? Where's this one? Oh, it's there. Right, no, that looks a bit messed up. Um, just gonna leave that one filled in. And 
just a blunt spine for this one. Alright, yeah, it's the Okay. As you can see, I've randomized them up a little bit. Let's just do this one. I think I might have forgot that one. Hmm. And forgot that one. Oh, I forgot that one. Okay. Yeah, just good time save. Oops. Control S. And as you can see, they're all muddled up and random, so that's kind of what we want. Okay, uh, it looks quite nice, but there's still a lot of stuff missing. Like, if we look back on the video, got the textures on, they got like a nice colour correction, everything, but I don't think I'll be able to make the textures, so what I'll do is I'll post a link of the thing that was uh, down below. Yeah, I mean, the, down below, I'll post a uh, I'll post a link of the texture thing there because I downloaded them pre-made intros. Uh, yeah, I've got lots of pre-made models, pre-made intros, stuff like that. This, this is Poly Two. Is it? VCR color ramps. This might be it. The promises on. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, as you can see, it's like glitch effect looks quite nice. I'm going to be applying that onto the texture. Okay. So let's just drop this into cinema. This image is not no path transition. No. We should have like a multicolored texture over done. Yeah, yeah. Right, if we say just add on to this one. And you want to change it to cubic. No, actually, is it, would it be cubic? No, it, um, let's try um, flat. No, cylindrical, no. no. Uh, I'm just going to try them all because. Wait, uh, yeah, I think they might be front on. Just to see. Is it changing to one? Um, do you think it is? I think it probably ends up being frontal, but let's just see if it changes like here. Okay, I'm just going to extend the timeline to about 300. I'm just going to see if there's like anything actually moving. Because I might have just saved it as an image. And that's not what we want. So I'm just going to look for some movement going on. This, it isn't real time as well, so the uh, frame of which the editor is playing back is a lot slower than real life. I think about 90 seconds, I, mean, about, I think about 90 frames is like 3 seconds. And it's usually been over 20 seconds and it's 
180 now. Oh, no. Yeah, there isn't. Doesn't appear to be any things actually playing back, so what I'm just going to do is just cheat a little bit. Drop, I'm going to drop the texture from this one uh, into it, and I'm going to show you what all, all the. Uh, there's probably like a dead easy way to do it, but I'm just feeling it. Like, yeah, this is what theirs looks like, and you play it. Can see. Wait, actually, I don't even think they've got stuff being pulled out. I think it's just the texture, maybe. Ah, uh, no, they haven't got stuff being pulled out. Anyway, yeah, it's how I do it. Not, ne not necessarily the best way, but still. Um. Um, right back. Sorry about that. I uh, just got a phone call from like an Indian, Indian uh, phone providing or so whatever. Um, okay, so let's just have a look at this texture. See what's in it. Yeah, as the texture, he's got as a got as the image. Play the eye. Got luminance on. Yeah. Okay. So let's just control C, control C, window, get back into my line, control V, hopefully it won't. No. Okay, never mind. I know what to do now anyway. Um animation. Let's just see what this animation thing was on. Animation loop timing exact frame. So window back into my animation loop exact frame luminance load an image. on like before loop exact frame yada 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 okay hopefully should be able to see some movement now or oh, my cinema 40s is retarded or oh, I'm retarded one or two probably me Drag it on. Okay, um, <sighs> don't know why it's not working. I'm just gonna have to, uh, right, he's got cubic and, and he's changing the offset sides both. Window, back to my one. Cubic. Uh, see what the length is. And tiles or whatever. Tiles 14 and 11. 